guys, welcome back to this buttonhole series. In today's video, we're going to dive on how to put a buttonhole into a very thick fabric. You're looking at a very thick fabric in front of you and you don't know how to handle it and you didn't think about this <laughs> maybe when you purchased the, uh, the fabric to make this garment, but now you've made this whole thing and you're wondering how you're going to handle this. We can do this. So you're going to do a hand done buttonhole. If you've never done one before, you can absolutely do one. Do some on some practice fabric and you, you'll be surprised with how quickly you can learn how to do this. So first and foremost, with a thicker fabric, it can also unravel easily on you. Maybe you're doing like a boiled wool or something. It can just sort of like the little frizzes can just happen, right? Machine stitching around where the buttonhole is going to go. It, I know I just talked about doing a hand on buttonhole, but the machine stitches take a stitch length that's quite small, you know, like a 1.5, 1.8 something, and it will do a great job at giving you some structure in that fabric. So it won't really, you know, do the whole fluffy little little bits as much. It also, if you're doing a lining and you want to incorporate the lining into this buttonhole, it does a great job, these machine outlines does a great job as putting the lining to your garment fabric and helping it from shift as you're making your buttonhole. It, it, it's, one, it's a wonderful step to do to, to like set you up for success. The other thing to help, um, help combat this whole raveling the little bits and stuff is after you've cut your buttonhole open, you use some beeswax. So you can melt some beeswax, like heat up a little butter knife or something on your iron and use that hot end to melt the beeswax and sort of sort of like, um, what's the word, like smooth it over, <laughs> smooth it over those cut edges and that will give you like a temporary little, um, it'll just, you know, prevent <laughs> your fabric from fluffing and unraveling and it's a, it's a lovely little tool to have. So then what fibers do you want to use for a thicker buttonhole, or sorry, for a buttonhole on thicker fabric? First and foremost, I say this is time to butt out to bust out. If I can talk, this is time to bust out the silk buttonhole twist. I do have some available on my website, and it's just yummy goodness. It is something that not only is it beautiful and it's super durable, but it's something that's just a little bit magical. You can put a buttonhole into some very thick fabric, several layers and it just cinches everything down very nicely and makes a nice neat buttonhole for you. So this is time for, at least in my opinion, to bust out the silk buttonhole twist. It is a bit more of an expensive fiber, but this is where it takes, it's the kind of like the buttonholes, it's silk buttonhole twist. That's just, it's just where it is. Then if you're looking for something that's more affordable, you can do uh, pearl cotton and you can run pearl cotton through some beeswax if you want to strengthen it. You can also run the silk buttonhole twist through some beeswax as well. You can always use beeswax to strengthen any fiber. Um, and then you would put it, so you run it through the beeswax and then you would put it over an iron and that melds the beeswax into that fiber and it will just stand up on end. It's super strong at this point. It's lovely to deal with. It's not going to kink up on you. Um, it's just, it's, it's wonderful. So these are my tips for how to put a thicker, no, these are my tips for how to put a buttonhole into thicker fabric. I have other videos in this series. If you have any questions, put them down in the comments below and I will do my best to answer them. And as always, I appreciate y'all for watching and I hope to catch y'all next time.